Over the past few years, Elon Musk and Tesla have pushed the world's attention sharply toward humanoid robotics, pouring staggering resources into the development of a machine. Musk believes will become a household essential in the very near future. He has repeatedly stated that within two to three years, people everywhere will be lining up to purchase their own personal robots because these machines will be capable of handling a wide range of practical everyday tasks. Imagine asking a robot to take out the trash each morning, prepare breakfast while you get ready for work, or handle the constant cleaning jobs that drain your time this. According to Musk, is precisely what the Tesla robot is being built for. In earlier years, Tesla's main competitor in the humanoid space seemed to be a single American startup. But that landscape has changed dramatically. The number of advanced humanoid robots popping up across the globe sometimes one every month means. Musk is stepping into an increasingly crowded arena. Among these new challengers, Chinese-made humanoid known as the Xpong Iron Robot has quickly become one of the most talked about entries, with many observers suggesting it could become a formidable global rival. Some believe Tesla's robot may dominate in the United States, but the Iron Robot could win international markets. Thanks to China's reputation for pushing rapid technological progress at more affordable prices, Still, Musk insists that the next generation of Tesla's Robotoptimus Gen 3 will outperform all rivals because Tesla possesses three categories of expertise that the competition lacks. In his view, the new version will be capable of household tasks that the Iron Robot simply hasn't mastered. His confidence is rooted in the idea that this robot could become, in his words, the biggest product ever produced by humanity. Bigger than smartphones, bigger than any device people use today. And it's this belief that leads to a much larger question the public is asking more seriously than ever. Will robots take our jobs? Musk himself fueled the conversation by posting that artificial intelligence and humanoid machines will eventually replace all forms of work. Making employment optional in the same way growing vegetables at home is optional compared to buying groceries. That single statement has triggered both excitement and fear. As more and more humanoid robots emerge across China, the US, and Europe, many of these still move awkwardly, with stiff joints and unsteady motion, which makes them appear impractical or even comedic. But Tesla's robot stands apart because it looks balanced, refined, and capable one of the few that people take seriously as a future product that could transform daily life. Musk keeps raising expectations suggesting that Optimus might become one of the greatest technological achievements in history. A robot that can operate continuously without fatigue. Contributing to a world where economic abundance becomes possible. Tesla's plan is to produce these robots at enormous scale, so widespread that they could become as common if not more common than mobile phones. And Musk claims that once production is scaled, such robots could help eliminate global poverty, by providing labor and support wherever needed. He hasn't outlined every detail on how individuals might earn income from their robots, but he has given clear examples, such as using them in restaurants, cafes, and service jobs where they can actually generate revenue. Tesla already demonstrated them working inside a company-operated restaurant, proving that they can perform tasks that businesses would otherwise hire people for. With a price estimate around $50,000, Musk believes owners could recoup the cost in just a few years as these robots begin performing consistent, productive work. He emphasizes that all the core components required to build a humanoid robot have existed within Tesla's cars for years. He argues that a Tesla vehicle is essentially a robot on wheels, containing a battery pack, electric motors, power systems, a gearbox, onboard processors, neural network training models and advanced vision systems used for navigating the real world. These features translate directly into humanoid robotics, meaning Tesla has been unintentionally preparing for Optimus long before the project was officially announced. He even stated during the shareholder meeting that Tesla is already the largest robot manufacturer on Earth, because every car they build qualifies as a robotic system. Musk's ambition isn't rooted in fantasy. He genuinely believes Tesla can create a machine with a brain-like AI system paired with arms and legs that operate nearly as naturally as a human's. Although thoughts of machines 
resembling humans, tend to remind people of classic sci-fi. Musk maintains a more optimistic vision, one where robots serve as helpers rather than threats handing over a drink, making breakfast, cleaning the home, and staying beside seniors as useful companions. That vision is becoming more real as Tesla prepares to release the next generation. Optimus Gen 3 expected in the first quarter of next year. Musk intentionally avoided giving the robot a realistic human face or expressive features. Because overly human-like machines often trigger discomfort in people. A psychological reaction known as the uncanny valley. Other companies have showcased robots with extremely human-like facial expressions. And while they are technically impressive, they also appear unsettling. Tesla avoided this by giving its robot a simple, smooth head design with a sleek visor-like strip. Optimus is currently at version 2.5 and already demonstrates autonomous walking. Workplace navigation, automatic charging, and basic task handling. But Optimus Gen 3, according to Musk, will be such a massive leap that the robot will look almost like a person wearing a mechanical suit. Tesla plans to release new versions annually, similar to smartphone model cycles with Gen 4 aimed for 2027 and Gen 5 planned for the following year. What makes Optimus particularly impressive is its capability to perform complex tasks that require coordinated movement and decision-making, such as preparing food. It can open the refrigerator, select ingredients, slice meat, stir food, and plate a meal. Achieving that level of capability required extensive human motion capture data collected by Tesla's engineering teams. Employees wear full-body tracking suits, head-mounted cameras, and heavy backpacks filled with equipment to record every movement from picking up a glass to folding clothing. These repeated actions supply the robot's neural network with the training data needed to replicate physical tasks accurately. Optimus uses visual input from multiple cameras, tactile feedback sensors in its hands, and control algorithms that allow it to adjust to the environment in real time. When the robot learns a new skill, that knowledge is shared across all units. So if one robot masters a new cooking technique or cleaning behavior, every other robot gains the same learning almost instantly. This networked knowledge sharing will allow future buyers to set up their robots effortlessly, with new units automatically inheriting the experience and preferences of older ones. The vision Musk paints is one where you return home to a spotless house, floors gleaming, countertops clean, and the yard freshly maintained without hiring anyone or spending your time on chores. Optimus Gen 3 is designed to make that scenario real. Meanwhile, comparisons between Tesla's robot and the Xpong Iron robot are growing more intense. Many tech watchers argue that the Iron robot currently appears more human-like, synthetic skin, soft muscle-like structures, and graceful movement. The Iron robot stands around 5 foot 10, has a flexible fiber-covered body, and contains dozens of joints with more than 60 movement points and roughly 200 degrees of overall mobility. Its hands approach the dexterity of human hands, and its visual system provides nearly full-body situational awareness. The robot incorporates advanced chips and may use next-generation batteries to improve safety and energy capacity. Its walking motion is so natural that some viewers initially believed it was a person in disguise. To prove otherwise, the company physically cut into the robot's outer material on stage to display its artificial structure. The iron robot is designed to look friendly, almost companion-like, while Tesla's robot maintains a more minimal, functional appearance. Xpang's goal is to begin mass production in 2026 and shift toward service industries such as malls tourist attractions, and hospitality environments. Their leadership even predicts that robot sales could surpass car sales within a decade. Tesla's robot, by comparison, is shorter and lighter, engineered around practicality rather than dramatic visuals. Its speed is capped for safety, and its lifting capability is tuned for real factory work. Tesla concentrates its complexity in the hands. Improving the robot's ability to operate tools, manage household items, and perform real tasks efficiently. Unlike many robotic startups, Tesla already possesses a massive AI training and deployment pipeline built through years of vehicle autonomy development. Billions of miles of driving footage, labeling infrastructure, neural network training hardware. 
and real-world iterative feedback give Tesla an advantage that newcomers simply don't have. Every part of this software ecosystem now benefits Optimus, giving it a foundation grounded in mature AI systems rather than DeMoss-specific programming. Xpong has strong technology too, but its robotic ecosystem is narrower and newer. Their strategy prioritizes appearance and emotional interaction. While Tesla emphasizes work, capability, and scalable deployment. Tesla also has immediate access to its own large factories, 